here guys time for the eighth horde night of this world is that rule number one in zombie land double tap oh that here all bright and early in the night you'll love to see it got to loot for us there's just smoke in the bullets so uh how big did this go Right, let's go. What's up, survivors? I'm Natural Born, and welcome to episode 42 of our random Gen Let's Play. Now, first and foremost, as always, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone for all of the support on all of the videos. You guys are the real MVPs. And if you find yourself enjoying the episode, don't forget to leave a like. To show your support now as you guys can see today is day 56 and that means tonight is horde night so the plans for today's episode we're going to clear out all of the gardens and then we're going to get prepared for the horde so you yeah, guys i'm going to smash into this garden now something i've been thinking of doing with these mushrooms since we can grow them underground we're probably wasting a bit of garden space having them up here. So that's something that we may have to look into, is setting up an area underground to grow these mushrooms. Now we do have a little bit of fertilizer too, so we could always potentially put that down for the mushrooms. For anybody who doesn't know, tilled soil will give you a return of three from mushrooms. But if you do it on fertilizer, then it's the same as corn, and you'll get a return of five. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to loot and clear up these gore blocks from the last episode. And then we're going to get down into the base and smash into it. Something else that we desperately need to start working on is because we're about to start construction on the aerial assault base, which is obviously based around not only ranged weapons, but explosive weapons. If you like to make explosive weapons, you're going to need a crap ton of nitrate powder. And I'm not quite too sure how much we've got, so we're going to have to get down into the base and we're going to have to start looking into this. Same with flaming arrows, exploding crossbow bolts, and even if we can, some shells for the bazooka, some rocket. And I think our nitrate powder might be downstairs. I'm going to have a quick look down here. We may even have to put down some more campfires so we can start burning up some fat into tallow. Now, not only is the tallow good for making flaming arrows, but if you cook animal fat into tallow, it actually sells for more dew, so it can be a good money maker too. Alright, as far as I can see, we must have our nitrate powder upstairs. So I'm not going to worry too much about that at the moment. The moment we're in a race against the clock before this horde arrives so we want to get this garden all organized but because we now have this open room here that we haven't been using i'm considering turning maybe this into a garden but yeah we'll wait and see how that goes for now i need to dump all this crap in my inventory we need to find ourselves some seeds and Maybe it's one of these that has the nitrate powder. Yep, no, I have no idea where I'll put it. It's down there somewhere. I know that for sure. <laughs> Alright. So, of course, we're going to grab our corn. We're actually going to grab chrysanthemum, coffee, and goldenrod this time. And we are more than likely going to slam some of those down. Potatoes is a big one, but we might have to plant those in the next round and we'll grab a bit of cotton to be safe. For you guys, as usual, I'll bring you back once we've completed the harvest. Alright, and the garden is fully harvested. And this is what we got today. So we got a crap ton of mushrooms. So I don't think we're going to plant any more mushrooms on the surface today. I think we might try to set a place up underground for those, because we do have a lot of them now. 
once again still got a good amount of corn we didn't plant too much and we have a good amount of potatoes so what i actually want to do is turn this stack here into seeds and we're going to keep the full stack and we're going to take that down to a base for cooking so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to plant all of the seeds that we have all the chrysanthemum goldenrod coffee and you might as well plant these potatoes if they're finished in time and what else we got we've got a bit of blueberries and cotton and corn if we have any room left for here guys oh actually before then let's dip over here quickly now Now I'm just looking at, look, sorry guys, just looking at these and both of these look like pine. Don't know if I'm tripping or not, but I swear I put down the blue spruce. Guess we have to give them a bit more time to grow, but yeah, as you can see, quite a few of these have sprouted up nicely. Then we have these ones at the back. These are the maple trees. One of them hasn't sprouted and two of them are only in their first growth cycle, whereas when we look over here, once again, we still have a bunch that haven't even sprouted yet. Same drill over here. One of these is a pine, one of them's a blue spruce, and one of them's the maple. And they've all sprouted up nicely. But yeah, guys, enough of that. We're going to smash into this garden, and I'll bring you back once we're done. Alright, and we have finally finished replanting all of the seeds. Now, as you guys can tell by the time, that pretty much takes up our entire day. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get down into base and we're going to start getting prepared for the horde. And we're also going to do a few other things. Now, like I said, I want to locate this nitrate powder so I know exactly what we're working with. But for now, we're going to drop off all of these resources. Alright, so if we come over to ingredients now, we should be looking pretty goddamn good for food. Now, obviously, all this food still has to be cooked up. But in the meantime, check out all of that corn. I'm actually going to take... We're going to take four stacks and we're going to turn all of those into seeds. Because, yeah, we do need the seeds. But, nitrate powder, where is it? Now, enoughs, there we go. So, 3,400 nitrate powder. That's not a lot, especially for what we want to achieve. Now, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take some animal fat. And, oh, yeah, we've still got crap in here. Of course we do. So, we're going to pop that in there, and we're going to go tallow. Cook up 250, and then we're going to do the exact... Oh, going to eat this first. We're going to do the exact same thing in this cooking pot here. Now we're going to be able to use these to craft flaming arrows. I'm not sure if you can do them in your inventory or if it has to be in a working bench. By the looks of this, it has to be in the workbench. I'm going to shoot back upstairs quickly. While I'm up here too, I'm going to have to get my inventory organized for the hall far away either. First, we're going to turn these into seeds. 2,000 seeds, 40 minutes. That's not actually too bad. I'm um, just going to dump that crap in here for now. So I'm thinking, because we got so many shotgun rounds from doing the treasure chest, we might even take the shotgun with us tonight. And pop all this stuff in here. Shouldn't need the frames, but you always keep them on you to be safe. We're going to take a nail gun, some bandages, and irons, the other thing we're actually going to need. Um, right, we have beer, it's downstairs. That's all good. Mushroom still hasn't grown. So yeah, what I've been thinking of doing is maybe opening these walls up and placing gardens in here. 
Now, you wouldn't be able to grow a lot of mushrooms, but maybe enough that we don't have to worry about doing them upstairs, and then we can focus on growing other things up there. All right, so another thing we're going to need is ammo. And, oh yeah, so we got a, we got a bit of 9mm. Wouldn't mind having more um, 7.62, but that should be all good for now. I wanted to check the workbench with the flaming arrow. So yeah, we definitely we need to make a workbench down here. I think that is pretty evident. We're gonna take these two deers. And something that I keep forgetting to do, which don't worry guys, we will get done, but we need to um go to the trader and buy some hop seeds. So we're gonna take the iron for repairs. Could even potentially make another spike club and combine those together in the workbench. Come over to weapons, spike club, and might as well do the hunting knife while we're here too. Actually, now that we are here, here we go, flaming arrows. So we need gunpowder, tallow, cloth, and steel arrows. Exploding crossbow bolts this is going to be one of the primary weapons that i want to use over at the aerial assault so we're going to need steel arrowhead you need quite a lot of gunpowder for these ones which is a bit of a pity because like i said we don't have a lot of nitrate powder now the best places to find nitrate powder in your world is the wasteland and the snow biome now, we have a very decent sized snow biome here. So I think as we make our way down to the desert, we may even have to uh, dig off into the snow biome at some point so we can start digging for nitrate powder. But I think we have everything we need for the horde. We've got all our new armor. Guys looking fancy as fuck. And we need food and water. So yeah, gunpowder is going to be a big one that we need to craft. So we might as well take half of these and get some gunpowder cooking up. 30 minutes, not too bad. Alright, cook food. Smash back that meat stew. Alright, 97, and this is where stuff like corn on the cob comes in good. Munch one of those down just to push you over to 100. Alright, we've got our teas, got plenty of them too. So we'll drink a couple of these. And then, yeah, we're pretty good to go for Horde Night now. Corn bread's still cooking, and we've got a bit of tallow cooking up here. But even here, as you can see, 77 tallow. Almost 1,200 dukes. So it can definitely be worth cooking up. I think, yeah, we brought all the goodies. Tell you what, a couple of beers in there. Don't mind if I do. See you here, guys. As I said, you cannot go wrong with your very own vending machine in your base. Alright, we might even go ahead and top up all of these forges, and I'll bring you back once we're a bit closer to the horde. Alright guys, so this is our collection of concrete mix so far, and we have 18,000 cooking up in here at the moment. So hopefully, that'll be enough for us to get some building done. Obviously, there is still a lot of resources we need, but yeah, nitrate powder is really going to be a big one. Obviously, we can sit up there with a sniper rifle and our bow and arrow and just use the normal arrows, but we want to keep it interesting. Like I said, I'd like to get dynamite, pipe bombs, rockets for the rocket launcher, flaming arrows, and, oh yeah, look at that, pick up two mushrooms. So if we pick this up, and we take our dirt, recipes, one, oh no, there we go, two seeds. So, look at that. 
if you do plant them just on wood alone, then you're actually going to see a benefit. So that's pretty crazy. That's uh, definitely good to know. But we now have an hour until the horde shows up. So I'm just going to make sure I've got everything ready to go. And yeah, oh, actually, we have a few weapons to combine, don't we? Now it's going to be good once we level up our weapon smithing just a little bit more. We'll hit that purple quality and then we'll be able to go for quality 600 on our tools. Something I may need to grab is duct tape. There's a few uh, repair kits. Just in case we uh, overuse the guns, I'd say we'd be alright though. But yeah guys, I think now's the perfect time to head upstairs ready for this horde. I wonder what direction they're going to come from tonight. To be safe, we're going to keep our eyes peeled on this house. But since we knocked down the fence and blocked up the front door, we haven't seemed to have had any issues. So you yeah, guys, time for the eighth horde night of this world. And look at that, right there. So coming from this direction. Alright, pieces of shit. Get out of here, boy. Alright, as long as we don't have our cops coming straight away, we should be alright. Tell you what, we need to come up here with the shotgun. Nope, helps when you reload it. Gonna help get us some levels into the shotgun too. Oh, alright. Yeah, you fat bastard. Don't move. Oh, yeah, we definitely need a stronger sniper. Just can't seem to put him down with one shot. Two seems to do the trick though. Is that rule number one in Zombie Land? Double tap. Dogs. Yeah, shotguns, not too good. But, oh, look at that. There goes our loot from the cop. That sucks. level 13 now obviously we could uh pump levels into it i don't actually know if we can unlock any of them yet but i'm not too worried about that like i said my main goal is more to take advantage of the ammo that we've got but in saying that though i should probably be down here clearing up these war blocks bang Damn, he was loaded on bullets. What about you? One sandwich. Pretty sure we got 64 9mm rounds off that um, other bloated walker. Pretty crazy. Now, of course, got to harvest these dogs, animal fat, animal leather, or animal hide, sorry, and the bones, things that we can uh, always use in our world. Arrows, see the next cop coming in. Oh, get out of my way. Down. Boy, stay down, motherfucker. Alright, goddamn spider zombies. Shut up. Hate the noise they make, they drive me crazy. 
Oop. You gotta watch out. The shotgun does quite a lot of damage to stuff. Take a quick look. Yeah, see this block? No damage. Pump one of those in. And there we go. Lost a bit of damage there. So you do have to be careful when using the shotgun because sometimes it causes more damage than it's worth. Oh, that barrel bright and early in the night. You love to see it. Gonna be loot for us. Who's just smoking the bullets? Swap over the club, finish them off. Yeah, come on. What you got? That Magnum parts? Sure is. Definitely welcome. Like I've said multiple times, you never hear me complain about Uber Loop delivery. Right, we're just going to dispose of these quickly. Oh, there was a big ass leg. Do some repairs around here because yeah, I've done a decent amount of damage with the shotgun. So that's all good. Right, so we've got one, two, three. All right, I'm feeling like we're missing some zombies. See a crawler. There's always the possibility that it's a few crawlers, but sometimes you just never know. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, they might have been stuck over there. Yeah, they are. You see them over there. Trapped on the corner of that house. Down there. Come on, you can do it. Just a little bit of a sidestep. Hopefully that sorts that problem out. Like I say, you want these zombies coming in as quick as possible so you can get as much loot as possible. Another thing I forgot to do was check our kills before we started the Horde night off, but that's all good. Check that at the end. Providing I remember that is. So yeah, next episode we'll be he heading into the Burnt Fire. We're going to be scoping out a base location. Like I said, this base will be quite large. I want to have pretty much a box in the middle of it with... Um, all of the platforms around it sort of like a ring around the base now the only reason that i want to put a base up there is just so we can test it just to see how zombies do react if you were up there hiding away obviously we won't be hiding we'll be using it to fight the horde but we can store some loot in there too bit of ammo and we can put our bed in there too so it won't be anything too crazy definitely uh, be a bit different than the floating base tutorial that I've done. Foundation will be the same, but the overall base will be a bit different. Look at that man, how many, how many bullets can you take to the face? I feel like we're due for another top two. Look at that nice uh, football helmet and no means. Good. Do we have any more zombies brought up over here? Please. Feel like we should have a few more zombies here than we do. Getting uh, pretty sick of these underwhelming horde nights. But like I've mentioned before, the Iron Fortress is not the long term base of this series. This is uh, just here to pretty much get us on our feet. Uh, spider zombie. Oh, it's 
that too. Say out, he jump out that window. Look like he did. We've got two zombies down here. What a zombie come around here? Yeah, that must be. Oh, look at that! You can see them in that house now. You gotta be shitting me. As usual. Almost hope there's a barrel trapped over there because he'll peel through that thing like a butter. We'll be out here in no time. Yeah. Another mo caught up on the corner. Yeah, so that's annoying may even have to knock that house down too but like I said this isn't the long term board base oh we've got another cop rolling in come on you son of a bitch oh ho, 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 damn no warning see what he done to our health holy shit might even have to uh, pop a health kit after that. Jesus. Nice damage to all of the spikes too. But yeah, it's pretty much how I, uh, one of the times I died in my main world. So I had a bunch of bots, I was shooting one of them. He got right up to the bar, and as I was shooting him, but let's see, he killed me. One of the reasons why I'm so hesitant when it comes to the effective police officers. Alright, we're going to deal with the rest of these fellas. Oh, you son of a bitch. Stand still. Looking good. And we'll leave it up finally. Yeah, very underwhelming out there. You can see uh, everyone's just caught up on this bloody corner. Might have to uh, try help them out. Oh, he's through. Now, what are you doing? Say, don't you dare run inside. Bloody idiots. Still stuck. Alright, spider zombies everywhere. Glad to know that when a cop the uh, base can handle it. Now I haven't checked the blocks underneath the spikes, but I think for now it's looking pretty good. My main concern uh, these zombies. Yeah, I don't know what the hell this one's up to. Oh, like now we got more of them. Of course we do. Sort them out. I do a bit of damage control. See these spider zombies just falling off. That's all thanks to the spikes that we have up here. Another one's died up there too. They are definitely coming handy. Alright, we're looking pretty full on loot. We have to drop some of this crap off. And clean up the locals. Oh, 
Well, only one feral, two cops. Definitely not the best. Open that uh, door block there, doesn't despawn. You'll find that usually world, since it's uh, two hour days, the horde nights are twice as long. And usually the first few zombies that you kill, the gore blocks will despawn by the end of the night. It's a bit of a hassle. But I don't think we've had that issue here on one hour days. Super annoying that they got caught up over here. No doubt that a bunch of them. Oh, let's see if we can uh, help them out, eh? Oh, beautiful. There you go. No excuses now. Do still think that there's a few of them inside somewhere, though. Because, like, look at this. You should always have eight zombies charging at you at all times during the board time. Eight's the max amount that can spawn. As soon as one dies, another one spawns in. Spot a zombie coming. And I'm not too sure what's going on out there. only 20 minutes left of Horde night, so uh, how bad could this go? Starters, you get the fuck out of there. Oh shit. Right, here comes our next zombie. You guys know how it goes. Line them up. Knock them down. I want to get over and have a wee look. See what we're dealing with here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, I see that. You see that, guys? So we got a shit storm of zombies over there, including a cop. Only one way to deal with this. Alright, me, you bastard. Oh shit, I can see a feral coming. <laughs> we ain't about that life yet. Can we outrun him? Might actually have to fight him because he's, he's going to be running no matter what. All right, let's go. Die, you piece of shit. And we lost his loot. That definitely sucks. All right, got all our walkers over here now. This piece of shit just spat in my face. Oh, don't you dare. All right. God damn it. All of gone. And sounds like there is a spider zombie inside. Look at them. They uh, tore this house apart. Double box stood up well though. That's all. And bang. Undetected. Well guys, look at that. They uh, tore that place apart. But that's all good. We may have to uh, demolish this building, but you got to be really careful when you're collapsing buildings in this game because they can cause quite a lot of uh, terrain glitch. We search this. Bunch of shit. All right. Well, might as well start loading and cleaning up. So, not the most eventful Horde night, but um, yeah, that's one of the reasons why this aerial assault base should be pretty good. We're not going to be in a town, so there should be nothing that zombies can uh, get themselves caught up onto. Unfortunately, we did lose some cop loot, we did lose some feral loot. This body right here, though, is definitely a cop. And look at that. Sawn off shotgun, 1800 dukes. And... Flashlight, 500 dukes, and some shotgun shells. 
it's one of the reasons why it's uh, so important to collect their loot as often as you can because yeah they drop some really good stuff Yeah, guys, that is pretty much Horde Knight completed again. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to clean up all the gore blocks and do a bit of repairs, and I'll bring you guys back once we're done. Alright, looks like there was next to zero damage to the blocks underneath the spikes, which is good. I guess it's just the uh, spikes that took a grunt of the explosion. Which is all good. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to... Oh, drop that. I'm going to repair all of these guns. Now, it doesn't matter if you repair them. Well, the half durability, it actually uses less repair kits. So whether you're repairing them at full durability, half or zero, it usually levels out to be or equals out to be the same amount of repair kits. But yeah guys, another successful Horde Knight down. We're going to, just going to pop one of these to get a bit of help. Check our food. Yeah, we can do a bit of bacon and eggs after that. I <laughs> turned that off, I actually forgot we had gas cooking in there, so that, uh, that didn't really help. But our tallow was all cooked up. And same on this side. Alright, cooked food. We eat one of these. What's this going to leave us at? 75. One of these. We need another one of these. Have a bit of drink. And we should be good to go. So you yeah, guys, another successful Horde Knight. It's a bit of a pity that they got uh, caught up on that building, but not a lot you can do about it. Best thing you can do is when you build your bases, be aware of what is around you. And obviously, we always have the option of knocking the buildings down. But here, guys, as the sun comes up, that means our time is up. I hope you all enjoyed the episode. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe for more console content. But as always, stay safe out there, survivors. And I'll see you on the next one.